Everybody's talking about baggies and shaggies and draggies and maddies and raggies and taggies and this isn't that isn't 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 all we are saying is give peace a chance. All we are saying is give peace a chance. Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out the John Lennon classic Give Peace a Chance. This is a fantastic song. If you're new to guitar and you've just learned your D chord and your A chord, you can play it with real super simple strumming, but also let it grow with you a bit as you develop more strumming skills. So let's go through the chords that you need first of all. The first one is going to be a D chord. Okay, it doesn't really matter if you hit the fifth string either on this particular tune. It just sounds nice and full. You don't want to be hitting the thicker string though if you can help it. So standard D chord. Now the other chord you need is an A chord. Now on the record I'm pretty sure I can hear that it's actually an A7 and if you've played A like this the easiest way is to lift off your first finger so you get an open G string. For most people they'll find it easier and harder. Easier just because you've got one less finger to worry about but to get the fingers separate enough that you can hear that open G string might be a little bit tricky but you know what it doesn't really matter if you're going to play an A anyway and you lift it off and you don't get that note, it, it's fine. So you might want to consider using this A chord but without your first finger. Okay, it's properly called A7. Or if you want to work on your D to A chord changes, if you're doing my beginner's course, you can just play A, that'll work well for you as well. So you can kind of think of it as like mostly D chord with this occasional four bar stint where it goes to the A. So the beginning of the song, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all the beginning. Everybody's talking about baggism, shaggism, dragism, madism, ragism, tagism, this isn't that ism, 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 ism. It's all just a D chord. Oh, we are A chord. For four bars is give peace back to D. For four bars. Back to the A chord in a second. Oh, we are A chord. Is give peace a D chord and then we're back through again everybody's talking about ministers sinisters barristers and canisters and etc all of that stuff is back on the D chord so it's actually quite a nice one to know as long as you're kind of prepared for oh we are say on that word say you're going to shift to the A chord for four bars and then go back to the D it's a pretty easy one to remember it's not one that should cause many of you much difficulty at all as far as remembering the tune so I was doing it super simple with just a down strum on beat one and counting it though like one two three four one two three four one two three four now this kind of tune you could pretty much apply any strumming pattern that you know but being aware that the count is quite fast so one two three four if you're going to do down down up up down the old faithful it kind of feels a little bit frantic to be honest that kind of pattern on the original recording for those of you that are you know going beyond the beginner stage you want to be playing the bass note on beat one a strum on beat two bass note on beat three and a strum on beat four for both chords. The bass note will be the fourth string for the D and the fifth string for the A. Okay, although to be honest again that era, that song, the feeling of it, it's not really about it being like super, super accurate. It's not like a country where you've got this very specific kind of bass part. It's much more about getting that kind of happy feeling going on. So if you accidentally hit a string, don't stop. You know, just keep it going and try and keep the feeling of it. Doesn't matter. If I... Really doesn't matter at all. Everybody's talking about madness and baggies 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 and Give me a chance. Now that strumming pattern to add in for most of you will probably feel a little bit difficult, especially if you're a beginner and you're not used to doing this kind of thing. Accurately being able to pick out one string and then do a strum, that's quite difficult. A nicer, kind of an easier, more beginner friendly version is just to think soft strum, loud strum, soft strum, loud strum. Try, try, try saying that 
10 times fast. Soft strum, loud strum, soft strum. Anyway, uh, so soft, loud, 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 soft, loud. So for the soft strum, I'm just trying to just do a little strum, then a big one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. We are saying, give peace a chance. Now I'm hitting the bass note perhaps because my hand's just kind of trained to do that but even if I'm, I try and stick on the thinner strings now but All we are saying is give peace a chance So there I'm trying to deliberately stay away from the bass which isn't right but just to give you an idea if you're struggling to hold down the, the hitting the targeting the bass strings on the first and third strum it doesn't really matter it's okay you know and this is really such a fun tune that you can play it with whatever you know rhythm you want really whatever you're most comfortable with you just want to make sure that you keep the rhythm right and one thing i do want to mention is that this song is quite commonly played using a c chord and a g chord now that's actually what I thought it was as well, and I've played this on before using a C chord and a G chord. If you wanted to play it along with the original recording without using a capo, you'd need to use C chord and G chord. Okay, completely different chords. Now, I'm fairly certain that on the original recording, the guitar was tuned down one tone. So if you watch a video of John Lennon playing it in the bed, you can see him playing a D chord and an A chord, right? So it, it's almost certainly that's what he's playing. But just in case you go to play along and go, oh, this doesn't sound right. The reason is the guitar is tuned down. If you want to play along with the original recording, use a D chord. You'd have to put a capo up on the 10th fret, which gets a little bit ridiculous, to be honest. Your fingers are that kind of cramped up. And if you really wanted to sing it and play it along with the original recording, you're probably going to have to go for either retuning your guitar, which is like a massive hassle, or relearn it using C chord and G chord. Okay, so... Oh, we are G chord Give peace a C now, that's a perfectly fine way of playing it too. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's just different. And like I said, the original one, I've always played it C and G. It's just through researching for this video, I'm watching a little bit and going, oh, hang on, he's not playing a C chord. That's a D chord. And therefore, if it's a, it looks like a D chord, but it sounds like a C chord, has to have been tuned down. So look, I really hope you enjoy playing this song. It is a real cracker of a beginner song. I hope you're enjoying my beginner's course as well. If you're struggling with any of the chords or any of that sort of stuff or looking for some play along tracks, do go and check out the website. There'll be a link in the description below. Have yourself a great one. See you for more very soon. Bye bye.